Sagittarius. You got me craving pizza, pizza, yeah. Why they man? Why are they mad? Why are they mad? Ayy, why are they mad? Why are they mad? Scoop it, scoop it. Why are they mad? Why are they mad? Ayy, why are they mad? Why are they mad? Beep, 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 beep. I don't know, something about slow mo, something, you know, run it back. It's kind of the energy I'm getting, run it back. I want some pizza. Pizza, pizza, yum. Delivery, delivery. I don't know if you're getting a delivery here, and that's why they're mad. <laughs> oh my goodness. Their God might be delivering. And that's why they're mad. Let's find out why they're mad. <laughs> It's like, nah, let me stop. I got 2020 vision. Don't even need these. <laughs> Somebody's mad. These hoes ain't loyal. No, they ain't. Chris Brown vibes. Somebody's mad. These ain't loyal. Okay. So I don't know if you are out here dating or if I don't know if you're hanging it up flat screen. Okay. You're hanging up the dating thing. Uh, you're hanging up your jersey. I don't think you was ever put in the game. Uh, you're tired of sitting on the <laughs> I guess it's time for them to do zoomies. Okay. Uh, I don't know if someone got some pent up uh, energy, uh, aggression. This can be actual uh, aggression or frustration is the energy that I'm getting at this time here as well. Something else about dogs. Dogs are very loyal. And we talking about these all day loyal. There's some O's in this house. There's some M's in this house. There's some M's in this house. There's some M's in this house. So. I'm just getting an energy where you may have uh, people here who are mad that, um, you know, it kind of feels like um, Taurus's energy just a bit here. Higher font may be kind of involved here at this time, but it's like your taste, your your morals, your values have changed here. Uh, you, you're not, you're not getting, you're not, I don't know, you're, you're always a loyal. I think that you are tired. <laughs> I think that you are tired of the same old, same old. It's almost kind of like you're meeting the same type of people who are on the same type time here. Um, I think that you, it really does feel that way. I don't know if you're kind of trying to upgrade level up trying to get serious or settle down is the energy that i'm getting for you uh sagittarius and this can be in any aspect of your life whether that be relationships just life i really am kind of getting like you're you're trying to expand in that 10th house you're trying to expand in you know capricorn energy and I, I know it's about you i know it's about you right now but something feels very serious about your energy and that's not normally your energy. So there's something that has changed with you. Uh, definitely Scorpio. I'm definitely getting your own energy. I'm also getting Taurus, but I'm also getting Capricorn. Um, and I just feel like, you know, this could be a lifestyle that you are just no longer into. You know, it's, it's something about your energy. You know, he's losing loyal. It was probably all good about a week ago. Um, it, it, but it's something again, I can't, I'm sorry that I'm repeating myself and I'm just reiterating. I don't know if you keep reiterating this to people or you keep running into the same type of people where you have to keep reiterating the same thing, or you keep being disappointed over and over and over, run it back. Yeah. Run it back. Okay. I don't know the pizza, you know, delivery, you know, you know, pizza's great. I love pizza. Um, but when I think about that and the way this energy already feels just off of this one card, it's just kind of like, mm, it could be cheap date energy, you know, it's not really great for your health, <laughs> you know, it's like something quick, quick, quick. It's, I feel like something about your energy, you got, you know, people here who are mad that you're not okay with just some, you know, pull up delivery. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, professional high priestess vibes, hot pocket, hot pocket. Okay, you're tired of this Amazon button. You're tired of things coming easy. You're tired of people being easy. You're tired of, um, you know, whatever comes with um, an easy life. You know, not in not in terms of like the easy life, like you need to struggle all day, every day. I'm just talking about, you know, things that should be of value, things that you value now um, coming easy. You know, people, you don't want nothing that comes easy. It really feels relationship oriented. I mean, these old ain't loyal. What else more can that talk? Like that's pretty self-explanatory. It just seems like whatever's out there, 
on the yonder, whatever you're seeing, whatever is going on, you know, whatever is being presented to you, it's the same old, same old. And I feel like you've had it with this dump. I've had it with this dump. Dumb and dumber vibes. <laughs> we got no food. We got no jobs. Our, <laughs> our birds' heads are falling off. Yeah. Something about dumb and dumber. <laughs> Harry. Somebody's mad the PA free. Somebody's mad you don't want to be their psychologist. And I think that psychology energy came out in Virgo's energy. Um, and then the P ain't free and these hoes ain't loyal. That's very interesting. So <sighs> you could be doing a Virgo or something about Virgo's reading, honestly and truly. But um I don't know if somebody was treating you like this. Like it kind of feels like a cheat date. It just feels like people are mad that you're no longer allowing them to treat you in a cheap way. And I mean no disrespect, Sagittarius, but it's just like when you're just kind of going with the flow and you're carefree. It comes with some it comes with some energy with that. Like when you're being carefree, other people think that it's okay for them to say do and you'll accept anything. There's a fine line with things. Like it's all good to be optimistic, but people will then take advantage of that also. And and now you're trying to see the good in things that are not good. Um when you're when you're being carefree, you know, now it's you, you people think that they can just give you anything and you'll accept it or give you nothing and you're just like, huh, whatever, um, you know, or that you won't get commitment or get a commitment because you're carefree, right? Or, um, you know, it's like, uh, you know, you don't discriminate, right? And then now it is that now we, now somebody's, you got people coming in testing that like, oh, well, that means they don't discriminate. That really means they have no discernment. So it, it, again, it's like trying to put you or, or make you accept things or just, it's just being presented to you where, you know, you don't have, um, I don't got a type. You, you need to have a type. I think you have a type now. I think you have a type. <laughs> uh, man, and it is the only thing that I like. I don't, it's something, I don't think you like this no more. The moment you start having fun with it, you're done with it. And I think that's why they're mad. Exactly. They're mad they have nothing to offer. They're also mad you're not with the F shit anymore. I added the anymore part. They're mad you're not with the F shit. They're mad they have nothing to offer. And then they're mad that um, you won't be their psychologist. This to me is just like trauma bonding. You have energies here who are mad that you're no longer allowing the trauma bonding. Um, you're no longer, um, you know, wanting to dwell uh, and fellowship with people who got issues and they don't want to fix them or they want you to be their savior. It's, they want you to be Captain Sabo. And you're tired. These they ain't loyal. They're not loyal to you saving them. They're not even loyal to you saving them. And again, this could be men too as well here, but they're mad you're the Becky with the good hair. I don't, you know. You know. <laughs> um, in my culture, the Becky is the Becky, you know, that's the Becky, you know, plies vibes, the Becky. If you know, you know, it's, um, I don't, you know, I'm not really trying to talk about all that there. <laughs> I don't know, they have nothing to offer except for the Becky. They have nothing to offer but the Punani. They have nothing to offer but unloyalty, you know? It just, to me, it's like, you know, rock star vibes. To me, this is like party, hardy, hardy vibes. This is not committal vibes. Um, you know, this, I mean, everybody goes through their phases. <laughs> I guess. I can't say that I went through my phase, but I'm not holier than that. I'm not better than anybody. But I don't think I've had a successful uh, hold these. Um, I don't think I've ever, I, got, I don't think I got initiated at all into that there i'm a late bloomer so i don't know this ain't about me excuse me it's just i don't think you're um you don't like something anymore you don't like damaging individuals or you just don't like it anymore you know if you used to party a lot you don't you, it just doesn't do it for you anymore if you you know you had multiple partners and you know you have experience it just you're, it's you're not finding the right 
D that, you know, you, you, you're just tired of the same old different D. You're tired of the same old different P. Like, it's just, what, is there anything else to you? Is there anything else? Like, is there anything else that you can deliver, you know, or bring to the table? I'm not getting that there. Like, it's, you're, that's what I'm getting for you, um, Sagittarius. Like, and this is in all aspects. It's no, it's like jobs that don't really go anywhere. Um, you know, you just got a job, but is it a career? Are you committed to it? There's something about commitment. Um, and I think this is obviously, for me, it's obvious, but this is in alignment with, um, Mercury that's going to be in Sagittarius, I think tomorrow. Um, and of course that energy is, I'm pretty sure it's already playing out now, but according to Vedic astrology, right? In Sagittarius in the second house. So it's just kind of like your mind is different now. Like your mind is more, I think it's expanding. And where is it expanding to? It can only expand. It's up, right? It's only up. So what's up? Capricorn. What's up? Aquarius. What's up? Aqu uh, um, Pisces. It's up. Second house. That's about Taurus. That's values. What your values are like, it's up. You want something more. You want something more... Um, it, this to me feels like you're tired of having quantity. You're looking for quality at this time. And whatever you are surrounded by, Houston, we have them surrounded. It's like you're surrounded by trash. Um, and, um, you know, you may have liked it at some point. It was cool. Everybody goes through their phases. Nobody's better. Nobody's worse. But it just, this ain't for you no more. You know, um, you're tired of short-lived relationships, short-lived jobs, short-lived um you're just tired like you're just done with it and everything that comes with it um that's the best way i could put it it's relationships you know jobs um that's pretty much all life there is to life <laughs> um you know this education some of you may have not finished school now it's like all right like it, to, it and let me go ahead and commit myself to school let me finish this on out let me go ahead and finally commit to a career let me just carry this on out into old age let me go ahead and commit to marriage let me just you know let me just put let me just hang up the jersey here you know like let me just go ahead and commit to one vagina let me go ahead and commit to one pe penis let me go ahead and commit to one person. Let me go ahead and commit to, you know, you know, this mortgage. Let me go ahead and commit to responsibilities here. Let me just go ahead and let me just do this right now. You know, let me, let me go ahead and let me, let me, that's, that's what I'm getting here. Okay. Like, let me go ahead and, you know, just, I'm just tired of bit being bibbity boppity boop. I'm tired of being bibbity boppity boop. Let me just go ahead and commit to a healthy lifestyle. Let me just, let's just stop with this here. Let me just, let me just go ahead and upgrade my wardrobe. Let me stop dressing like this. Like, let me stop dressing like a hoochie mama or a thug. Like, let me go ahead and put on a nice suit and tie. And let me go ahead and get the pencil skirt and the heels. Let me go ahead and just get it together. Get it together. Let me just take life and take myself serious. Let me just, that's the vibe I'm getting. And uh, now that you let me just, you got under, under uh, you got other people here who are mad about that. They don't want you to better your life. They don't want you to mature. That's what this is. And, you know, if I'm going to be honest with you, Sag, y'all can handle it. Excuse me. I think there's a little bit of, I don't, there's a little bit of you being kind of mad at yourself a little bit here. Because with all of this maturity, let me just, you, you got to look at yourself now. You can see now that you're kind of, I feel like you're expanding into Capricorn energy, Capricorn land, the land of seriousness. The land of stability. The land of having something to show for. Something solid. The land of commitment and hard work. I just, it's, now that you're, te you're, 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 you know, you're, you're, you're in there. You're, you're getting up in that house there. You're getting up in the energy. 
you're looking at the trash that you are surrounded by like <laughs> i don't even know who i am like i like there is you looking at yourself a little bit too right now like wow wow I could have been further along or I could have had da -da -ba -da -ba -da -da, had I not been doing da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. like wow I'm just if someone's mad you don't want marriage you don't ask for permission I don't think you want marriage with them or this is just an energy where you don't want to commit to them you don't want to keep doing what everyone else it's like you don't want to keep living a lifestyle you don't want to keep hanging out with the boys and the girls like you don't want to keep like it's just things that don't you're looking at it like it doesn't matter it's not getting in you any it's not getting you anywhere like you just don't want to keep being committed or, or be uh, entertaining people that you don't see long term with like you don't want a marriage with who these who they loyal so, something has changed You know, uh, Sag, it's it's been proven. You're not a commit, committal energy. And the fact that you are thinking about commitment now, the, the, the fact that you, commitment in all aspects, pick, choose one, two, three, fill in the bubble, whatever one applies to you, you're, you're, you're thinking about commitment. Commitment's on your mind. Like Georgia was on Ray Charles' mind. Georgia, Georgia, you, you you got some you got commitment on your mind commitment to whatever and that's why they're mad because if you got commitment on things that are long term then that eliminates things that eliminates people that eliminates places that eliminates whatever was binding you all together the trauma bonding whatever you related to that connected you that's gone and that's, you know, dead and gone T.I. vibes. The old me is dead and gone. They're mad that their misery can't have your company. We Company? That sounds like a Capricorn thing. Company? Business? They, they're not, they're not in the, um... They're not in the plans. They're not in the infrastructure. They're not in the uh, business uh, plan. They're not. They're not about the. They're not in the development stage. They're not going to be in a phase. They're not even a phase. They're being phased out, and that's why they're mad. This is. I mean, it is what it is here. I can. I understand this here personally. I'm 29 years old now, and I'm really looking at life like. I think that I do want to get a degree. I think that kids don't sound too bad. I think that submitting and submission unto a man, it doesn't sound too bad after all. It, a career. Dressing professional. Hmm. Doesn't sound too bad. And it don't look bad either. You know, you clean up nice. You clean up real nice. Marriage. Don't they don't sound too bad anymore, you know? I just, That's the energy. And this is not beneficial to those who you was playing around with. It, I think that you have energies here who are mad that playtime is over. And that's why they're mad. Oh. They can't give you $40 for your nails and some pizza. And think that that's going to hold you over. There ain't no Netflix and chilling. And think that that's quality time. 
there ain't there ain't there ain't they're just there ain't it's <laughs> i don't know you the p ain't free it ain't just oh casual let's just casually get it on, on, on. ain't none of that here that's that's not a good investment that's not that's not a good investment you're looking at things as investments that's a capricorn thing and i know this is about you but you're expanding right now you don't expand down, you expand up. It's up. And what's up? I already broke this down to you. Capricorn comes after you. So your consciousness, we got higher levels of uh uh uh, uh, uh higher levels of uh information, learning, but consciousness. That's what's going on in the brain right now, the dome, the dome dome dome. It's a new world. There's other paths. It, whatever this is, it's not a good investment. Having children is an investment. Getting married, that is an investment. You're looking at life the, with the business side of things. All of this, the P ain't free, it's like, it's like pizza. He gets delivered, he was getting delivered. But you wasn't getting delivered and sanctified. You was just <laughs> you was just being delivered Amazon Prime energy. This I'm just You're not settling anymore and I think that your carefree, free-spirited nature I think that you may have had some Pisces energy up in there too with it. Like you were, the, the lines were getting crossed. You you know, oh, I'm free spirited. You know, I don't care about la la la. I, you do now. Mm -hmm. you, you do now. Because yeah. other people are taking advantage of this free spirit that you have. Other people were taking advantage of your optimism. They were using you, abusing you taking advantage of you and you just bounce back like oh but life is great i'm blessed and highly favored it'll be all right i don't really care <laughs> i'm a free spirit i don't care yeah well now you're seeing you should have cared all along now you're seeing you should have cared all along sag It's, it's changes that's here. Change is coming. Ain't nobody crying. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're mad they're bad built. Or this is a bad infrastructure. This is a bad... This this whole four wands you had built up or the lack there. They're bad built. They may be shaped like a bag of potatoes or... You... <laughs> Stop. Missy Elliott vibes, they lose the, like you're just losing yourself or you're you you was just letting yourself go here or these you're around people who have let themselves go. They have let go of their dreams and so they're gonna sit there and encourage you to let go of yours. Um they don't have anything to you're a visionary at the end of the day. These people have lost the vision and in fact they never had a vision. Um you and and you being around it, like I said, things that you was being around it and now things was getting blurred. Things was getting blurry. It was getting blurred. This, you building up your life, this this was your foundation here. Um, and I just feel like you there, there gotta be a tower here. It, there has to be a tower because you're 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 rebuilding, or you should be. You were dealing with people who were miserable and wanted your company. You were dealing with people who didn't want commitment. It's like everything that you are now wanting or now that you're trying to expand because the only way that you can only expand up, that's that's expansion. And again, in astrological terms, you're expanding into Capricorn. It's territory. Then once you master that, you're then expanding into Aquarius and then Pisces and so forth. All of this, like from you down, like... There's no seriousness to it. There's no there's no Saturn. There's no time invested. Really, there's no serious. There's no value. There's no hard work. There's no achievement. This is nothing to be, there's no achievement here. You, there's nothing to show for. 
And with you coming to this realization, then it's look you looking at them like, and that's why they're mad. Cause you're looking at them like, you are trash. I've been surrounded by trash. I can't believe it. Here I am thought I was being free spirited. Here I am thinking I was just experiencing life and just being free, no strings attached, having fun, being optimistic, grateful for just a new day. You mean to tell me I've been grateful for a new day with trash? You mean to tell me all them times I was dropped down and getting my ego on? It wasn't adding into the commitment bank. It wasn't getting me closer to marriage. It wasn't getting me closer to a committed relationship. You mean to tell me all them times I was Netflixing and chilling and you mean to tell me that's not getting me... <laughs> You mean to tell me all them years I was putting into a job and I didn't think I wanted anything long term, but now I do. And you mean to tell me this was for nothing? You mean to tell me all these years I haven't been in school and college and up under the butt la la la? Now all of a sudden, you mean to tell me that was probably what I, I should have? I should have stayed in school when I had to. You mean yes? They're mad they don't turn you on anymore. They're mad they don't turn you on anymore. What? What? Sag. Mama, you wanna fight? Why are you looking at me like that, little girl? <clears throat> She's getting a little fat there. She getting a little thick on this. She trying. She trying to get thick. Ooh. Sagittarius. That's why they're mad. They don't turn you on anymore. Good girl, you mommy. Good girl, mama. Come on, <laughs> come on. Let me finish working. I'm working hard so you can have a better life. Let me do what I need to do. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I knew it was going to come back out. Someone's mad they can't keep their man off your Instagram. This is definitely looking like, <laughs> is that your man? Mm, I don't think so. Not anymore. They're looking at you like you trash. Or sis, I don't know, you know, is somebody man or somebody's woman is looking at somebody else um, that they, uh, I said, the wandering eye. I said that. I said when Mercury goes into Sagittarius in the second house, be prepared if you're in a committed relationship, long-term relationship or situationship, there's going to be wandering eyes or just flat out infidelities. Only time somebody has wandering eyes if they have an addiction or if they're looking for someone better, expansion. There was a quote I saw um, earlier and it was, um, since I'm getting a bad build here. Be careful who you build with because they will use you for the foundation and then finish the structure with someone else. And 
And that's why someone is mad. Now I'm getting cross watchers who are mad that they got their man or their woman, their man or their woman looking elsewhere. And the fact that they can't keep their man or their woman off of your whatever it is, I don't think they looking elsewhere. I think they 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 got they this is like that the arrow. They got somebody like, yeah, that's her. Yep. That's him. That's that's her. That's that's the wife there. Yep. That's her. <laughs> you gotta go. You gotta go, bitch. Oh, that's him. Oh, you got to go now. Get out. Get out. I I don't want to see you. Get 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 like yo. I see yo. <laughs> no. I see somebody like oh. Get out. Get out. Get out. I got. I know who I'll get. Get out. You're in my energy. I need you out. You gotta go. You gotta go. Oh, you gotta go. Like yeah. So yeah. Pack, ship them up. Pack them out. Gotta go. All right, they getting shipped out. Whose reading was I getting that I was getting that same energy? Like, um, I was getting that same energy. Like, whose was it? And I was, maybe it was a love message or something like that. And I was, it was like somebody was doing them real bad. Like, get out, like... <laughs> Maybe it was the wire they met. Don't even matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Oh, maybe it was Scorpio's reading. Because I remember I kept saying it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Good D, good P. It doesn't matter. You got to go. You got to go. tired of trying to fix something that is just broke it's just broke it's this is this right here honestly sad it, you know i'm definitely getting a vibe where you may have your eyes on someone or a bin you keep they can't keep their man or woman off your social media or just off the can't keep their man or woman's mind off of you like it's something's coming back to you or you keep this is how you feel about something else if this is a dream of yours, it's like, it doesn't matter what comes up, babies, uh, I don't know, life, you keep going right back to that dream. You keep going right back to that passion. It doesn't matter if this is a, a, a relationship and you got caught up with karma because I'm so caught up, got me feeling it, caught up, I'm losing control. Yeah, it don't matter. You're going, it, it just goes right back. It, mm. A woman, a man, you're you're going right back to where you yeah, this is one of them. It, it, yeah. That's why they're mad. That's why they're mad here. This is like one of them energies, it's like a relationship. It's like you may have been with somebody for a long time. Break up, and then they get with someone new and married like that babies like that uh commitment like that house like that like just like that and it's like you ain't well, i've been with you for 10 20 15 8 5 4 3 2 1 years you ain't never do that for me but now you're doing it for somebody else this is one of them energies i'm trying to tell you something here somebody's mad you know when and where to detach yeah this is um yeah, somebody's hanging it up. Never, in a million years, I would be here. I would never, ever, 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 ever. Yeah, somebody, something, I will, I don't know. It's like someone who thought they would never, what was that song by Jaheen? I'm not going to play it because I'm going to be copyrighted, but never. Somebody didn't think they would ever <laughs> be in love ever. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, somebody's mad you did a them on them and somebody's mad they had more followers and dollars didn't I come out in Scorpio's reading the followers and dollars thing and then you did a them on them you 
so yeah you know that's about someone you're dealing with trash who are not loyal and now they feel like that you're going after what you want to commit to or whatever like that now they looking at you like you disloyal so they were unloyal to you or whatever the situation was or it just wasn't committed or just there was it, it just it just i don't know and now they feel like you not staying in it being a part of it um whatever the case now they feel like you're being unloyal now they it's that's what this is so this is like being in a relationship example you know with someone who has cheated on you um lied to you betrayed you stole from you um just just the worst of the worst just something that you should have broken up with uh, reasons to break up you probably just stay you just go through the cycles staying optimistic um you know whatever just for you know whatever you know just keep dealing with it. it's cool it's cool t -t 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 totally dude party like all right yeah it's it's cool now it's not cool you're going after what is cool and now they feel like you're being disloyal when they was being disloyal the whole situation was disloyal the whole they're mad you ain't with the f shit the whole situation was consisting of f shit oh i said f shit like i'm not supposed to say the s word either e <laughs> gotta go and that's why they're mad you got energies here who are mad that you know delete all that delete all that clean it get out get get out yeah that's the, i keep seeing it like that whether that's going on in someone's mind well, that's somebody talking like that or somebody is straight up putting muscle into it. Get out. Get out. Yo, I, I want to keep saying it. I don't know what that's about. I don't got nobody in my apartment, so it ain't this ain't me. I keep hearing get out. Get out. Like, oh. <laughs>